and GDQ wouldn't be possible without so many uh, helpful people here behind the scenes. Another one of those being Tokyo Attack. Uh, Raja the Garage is the largest Japanese arcade event in America, hosted by Tokyo Attack, featuring 24-hour gaming, over 100 import arcade machines, more than 18 tournaments, and a casual fighting game room. Raja the Garage is an event you aren't going to want to miss. Find out more at rajotg.com. Uh, they are also the suppliers, I believe, for the uh, arcade room here. Uh, and if you haven't been by there yet, if you're on site, then please do stop by. I highly recommend it. Uh, and with that, I believe we're all set up for Golden Axe. I'm going to pass it over to In the Mug. So good luck. Uh, hey guys, I'm in the mug. I'm going to be running Golden Axe today. Um, could I introduce the couch. You guys can introduce yourselves. Hi, I'm Drum Bordist. I'm Antho Pants. I'm Firebricks. That's Dagron. <laughs> uh, we're going to be doing arcade mode. Uh, Tyrus Flair, she's pretty much the fastest character. I'll show you here in a bit. we got three different characters. Uh, Tyrus Flair is the fastest because she has the best magic in the game. All of their basic attacks or the attacks with their weapons do the same amount of damage. And that's pretty much the only reason that we really pick her. She has the highest level magic for the most potential damage. Um, there are no real glitches in this run. It's all pure execution based, timing and being in the right position. All of my positions that I'm gonna be in are pretty much uh, intended just to have the enemies walk in the exact uh, spot that I need them to, you know, to execute it just quickly. Um, so yeah, I'm going to start off in three, two, one, go. He's going to basically use just two moves. It's the downward stab that you're seeing here and then a backstab, right? If it wants if, to. <laughs> if, if the input wasn't dropped, yeah. he would have used it there? That move tends to have a lot of dropped inputs because you're hitting both the attack and the jump button at the same time and for some reason the game doesn't pull it very well. So the downward stab will be actively avoided by all the enemies. They will simply move down to avoid it. But if they're on the very bottom of the stage or as they appear running out, they'll get hit by it, just like right. that. I'm going to concentrate here real quick. This is a pretty tight fight. And we got it. That's good. Nice. The, uh, the game is largely deterministic, except for these parts. The thieves. thieves. So, okay. Yeah, they're the only RNG in the game. Their running pattern is pretty much random. Yeah. Um, oh, okay. I thought the game crashed for a second there. Not sure what happened. So here, he's just going to make everyone <laughs> jump off. And this Bye. one, too. Yep, he's gone. And then he's going to knock these guys in. Yep. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> He's not going to knock them in. No. no. They're just going to run, gonna run off. Oh, I yeah. guess. <laughs> nice. Yeah, he got a boat there. That's good. We don't use the dragons in this run. Nope. I'm sorry. He's going to nope. grab two more magic to get to level four because that's the quickest spell that will eliminate the mob at the end of the level. Right as and they appear. Yep. And end of stage. That's level two. It's a pretty good RNG pattern right there. And jump on the fire. <laughs> yeah. She goes into a pit, and yeah. Right. And this guy we knock this the guy in the pit, too. <laughs> yep. That's all He's we do gone. in this game, I swear. It's, if you have the opportunity. Yep. There's another pretty tight trick coming up here, so let's focus. Yep. Uh-oh, that's nope. bad. Nope. 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 That was way he too early. He's gonna, he tried to, to hit them both at the same time with the downward stab so he could juggle them, but. Ah. That's fine, back up. Hit him yeah. in the head. Ah, he's not nice. 
That's fine. Again, he's gonna get level four magic for uh, another mob later. You could go for six. It takes longer. Yeah. So there's not really a point to it. It's another pretty tight trick. Let's yeah. see if we can get he's it. He's gonna corral them all so we can kill them and at once. And he jumps into yep. it. Yep. Very nice. good. Oh, that was really good. That's really yep. good. That's a great pattern. Shoutouts to the voice actor for that scream right there. <laughs> uh, we got one pit death in this level. It is right here. Bye. And he's gone. Well, you can't say you killed him. He's a skeleton. <laughs> yeah, how are they screaming? <laughs> Magical lungs? Yeah. Nice. Nice. That was, that was good. Got both. Oh boy. Oh. Okay. Okay, less nice. I got a little greedy there, trying to get a double backstab, but it's okay. So he's going to fight through the first couple of groups here and then wipe them out with the magic. Yeah. Like that. There it is. There we go. That's level four. Oh, uh, we have time for donation, real quick, if we can get one in. Cool. Uh, we have $10 from No Control that says, Best of luck to In the Mug for his upcoming run. Make the Golden Axe community proud. Thanks, No Control. Awesome. All right. Let's go ahead and depart this eagle. So he's going to lead everyone into the pit. <laughs> they can depart too. Yep. It's a very common thing in this game. Yeah. This dragon going to the pit. Uh, <laughs> bye. <laughs> now everyone else is going into the pit. And, and they're all good. Yep. Except for the boss. He's going to try to downstab stab them both at the same time. Yep. Like nice. at, and now he's just going to juggle them. That was really good. That was a nice. perfect stage five. Nice. This is one of the few instances he will get to six. Nice. Trying to get them nice. both. Yep. Yep. Nice. Sometimes that guy doesn't like to behave and he just dives early and just screws everything up. And right. He's got to wait until he walks down off the stairs. And then he'll juggle them. Now we cheese him in the corner if I. <laughs> oh, or not. <laughs> of course. Oh, boy. Oh. wearing no pants. Yeah. There's but he is wearing a belt. <laughs> yeah. I don't know why they would use the same skin tone for his pants as his face. That's actually where the arcade version ends. Yeah. Like the Sega Genesis adds an extra level to it. Yeah. So the only enemy that's not going into the pit in this level is that one. <laughs> Everyone else it's goes true. into the pit. Well, there's fire involved, too. Yes. Oh, yeah. That's true. We, we can imagine they eventually go in the pit. Everyone goes in the pit. Hopefully not Mug. <laughs> She's just going to walk. He's going to jump. And Most everybody and makes the decision themselves. Uh, there yep. goes. Oh, oh, no, oh, not you. Goes. Not you. <laughs> Everyone into the pit. All right. Following him in to make sure the job gets done. He's going to pick up level 6 magic here so he can kill the enemies on the pedestal because they're on a timer. They won't come down. But if he uses magic, he can kill them right away. Yep. Now here's two. F I'm going to try to do two pr uh, frame perfect tricks right here. Ah, missed it. Let's see if we can get it again. He's trying to knock him towards the pit so he there can knock go. him there into go. the pit. He turns at the last second to hit him in the other direction so then they can join every, all, all of their friends. There like we that. go. There we go. And now this is the final boss. Let's see. Time's going to be coming up pretty soon. 
Oh, oh, oh. That's uh, not good. Uh-oh. Okay. <laughs> not very good. That's fine. Let's... Now it's improv, basically. Uh-oh. Oh boy, and this is not nice. You don't want to bother with the skeletons, they have twice the health he does. Probably one more hit and then we're good. Let's see. Time. Nice. nice. Uh, what was final time? 8.33. 8.33, that's, that's bad. I was going for sub 8.30, so 8.33 I'm pretty happy with. Uh, yeah, that's Golden X. Uh, thank you guys so much for having me here. Shout outs to the Golden X community for pushing this game down. Um, this game used to have a world record for about four or five years straight until we picked it up and then we dropped it down two minutes. So community has done a lot of uh, pretty great work to get this to a 7.35, which is what the current world record is. So. Oh yeah, Th uh, thank you everyone at GDQ for having me, and uh, yeah, on to the next run. Thank, thank you guys you. very much. Thank you in the mug. Thanks for that amazing run in the mug. Uh, I have a couple more donations that rolled in during that. Uh, $25 from Masala Koala and says, hey, in the mug. So great to see how far the Golden Axe community has progressed the world record this past year with you being a large part of it. All of Big Zag says, hi, good luck, have fun. We have another $25 from PTR Bob, who says, Golden Axe was a favorite of my brother and I growing up. Happy, bir happy birthday, Sam. Good luck to the runners, and happy GDQ to all. All right, we are still setting up for Streets of Rage 2, so we're gonna run a quick ad break, and we'll see you on the other side. All right, welcome back and to all of you tuning in. Uh, welcome to SGDQ 2018. Uh, we are still setting up for Streets of Rage 2, so in the meantime, uh, let me read out a few more donations. Uh, we have $50 from Jacob23 who says, thank you everyone for what you do for Doctors Without Borders. Awesome event for an awesome cause. Good luck to all the runners. We also have $10 from Dogtype that says, wanted to donate during my favorite game of all time, Streets of Rage 2. I still think it's possibly the greatest beat-em-up of all time, that soundtrack. Thanks for showcasing it, Anthropans.
Hello and welcome back. Uh, we have $75 from Shed who says, I look forward to GDQ every six months. Keep up the amazing work, everyone, and keep going fast. Uh, we also have $10 from Marty who says, just wanted to say thank you to all the runners, announcers, and staff for making this event so fun and memorable and for donating to an amazing cause. And another thank you to my best friend Remy who's been watching runs with me all this week. Uh, we just got a $500 donation from Anonymous with no comment, but thank you very much. And with that, that puts us just a little bit closer to that $1 million mark. So please, everyone, let's make that happen.